Welcome to VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. Look, I don't have a problem with an NBA player taking the max contract, taking all of the monies that he feel that he is worth and that he's owed. And that is his value. I do not have a problem with that. And on the flip side, I do not have a problem with an NBA player who decided, I'm going to leave some money on the table. He doesn't need the extra however million. He's okay. He's fine. He wants that extra money to build the team. He wants that extra money to help the team that's okay I'm okay with both and is not taking the easy option because there's a little more nuance for me I will have an issue with a player who maxes out his contract who takes all of the dollars and the money and turn around and say build a team around me or help me how you taking the most of the money you got the money and in the structure of the system how is it possible to help when there's a hard cap a salary cap you can go no higher than this or if you do there's a luxury tax on top of that sure fans and fanatics want organizations and teams to spend 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 and win 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 and hopefully the spending correlates to winning but that's not realistic not all the time and to think so is nonsensical also a player who leaves money on the table and the team doesn't help and the team doesn't utilize that money to bring in more to help the player to help the team and they just pocket the money take the money and it goes back into the front office the team the organization in some way but not necessarily helping the product on the court then i would have an issue with that and that is the nuance if a player is going to make a sacrifice or not then the other end of the deal has to come through it has to be it has to be something to look at it has to be judged it has to be accounted for you just can't oh it's the player's fault he should have known better okay sure maybe but what about holding the organization accountable the player took less because maybe he wanted help did he say he wanted help yeah player took more because he's okay with that situation how he took more he maxed out and knowing how up against the cap the team was or knowing how difficult it would be to build a roster of 12, 13, 14, 15 players and you're maxed out and that's where the nuance come into play for me and it's not just about oh he took more money his fault he took less money his fault it's a little bit more nuance than that the situations will vary of course and being on a bad organization with no way out or if you're happy to be in that bad situation with no way out and the spending the rest of the monies doesn't matter to you the player that's fine that's okay that situation will present itself that situation has presented itself and it's easy to determine and it's easy to see and make it a decision an informed decision on what it is it's not hard but painting with a broad brush 
or painting a, a picture a big big picture a generic big picture that everybody can recognize that it's something but not really able to see the details then okay sure fine what do you think what do you think do you think that a player maxing out and taking the max contract do you think that he can say the team and the organization isn't helping him when he took the max contract or do you think that a player that leaves money on the table in the team that does not utilize those funds those monies to help the team and to help the player and of course there's a combination of the two and there's a combination within a combination what will you do as a fan as a player you know what to do you know what to do